world. Today I'm going to show you how I make this. Well, not really, just a leather belt loop. If you are interested in doing leather work, or you just like to see how things are made, this video is for you. However, if you are a more experienced leather worker, you will see that I do things differently than most. In this short video, I'd like to show you my approach to leather work and kydex sheet making. We'll focus mainly on the leather work, but you'll probably pick up some kydex sheet making tricks along the way. Although it's a very simple project, we'll cover some basic leather working techniques and you will see that I combine traditional methods with modern day tools. Usually I start with a simple drawing of a knife that I make. I'll print that and then I use it to draw a rough sketch. This will give me a good understanding of the proportions. Now here's a useful tip. Most knife makers will have a belt grinder with a set of smaller wheels. Use the same sizes in your design. It will make things easier when you start grinding the kydex sheets. Here's a sheet that I made a while ago and I will be using that as a template for my template. Makes sense, right? Well, I'll be making a template for the kydex sheets. I'll mark out the shape and holes for the rivets. And since I will be making a lot of sheets, this will speed up things for me. And they will look the same. Repeatability is what I'm going for here. Now, here's the true magic of Fusion 360. You can import any drawing into Fusion, and it's called a canvas by the way. And I recommend scanning because there won't be as much lens deformation as with a picture. After it's imported, you calibrate it and move it to the correct location. Now you can start tracing your design in a digital sketch and extrude it into a 3D model. Next up is the CAM, that's computer aided manufacturing. That's basically where you program the tool parts for the CNC machine. It's really telling your robot how to move on its axis. I call my CNC machine my first employee. Although it complains a lot, there's no unions I have to deal with. And although the payroll can become a serious expense, I think it's really worth all the time you spend learning Fusion 360. I finally settled for this design of the belt loop. I made many different sketches, but uh, I'm gonna stick with this one. And I'm gonna call it the Batwing Belt Loop. Because that's cool, I think. This is my drag knife. It will cut the leather for me because I just hate cutting leather by hand. Mind you, this tool needs a post processor when used with Fusion 360 but uh, I'll link that below. It's time to start cutting now. I hope all my efforts pay off. If this works out well, I can start cutting many more of these. See what I mean? This is a good employee. If you hate your neighbors, buying a CNC machine is the way to go. Now if you want to work with leather, Mind you, not all leather is created equally. There's vegetable tanned leather and chrome tanned leather. This is where I go on and on about the advantages of vegetable tanned leather. But in short, only use vegetable tanned leather. The tanning process is much more eco-friendly because natural tannins as tree bark and leaves are used to produce it. But it also develops a patina over time. It has uh, an aesthetic appeal and it's much more durable than chrome tanned leather. 
The only downside is that it's just much more expensive. But uh, hey, if fast fashion is your thing, well, you know what to choose. Let's continue. Now we'll use this uh, Groover tool to mark some lines. Next up is this edge beveler and we will round off the sharp edges of the leather. A steel that's meant for machining with um, additions of sulfur, then you know that it just crumbles at a certain temperature and it just falls apart even without impact. <laughs> so it's uh, iron sulfide or liquid. Please note that it's uh, better to remove double sided tape with a powder metallurgic Damascus steel blade. If you like to add some embossing to the leather, tape it to a heavy granite plate. This will give you a much better result. But uh, it's truly up to your imagination and I'm by no means an expert, but I do enjoy experimenting with different patterns. Next, I'll uh, start adding some shading. So these are two Kydex sheets I finished off camera with my template and uh, we're ready for the belt loop. So the belt loops are finished. I made a couple of variations, uh, but I think I like these best. So I recommend some Loctite on the screws so they don't loosen up after a while. These are Chicago screws that I use to attach the belt loop to the Kydex. I hope you found this video interesting or maybe even entertaining. Um, just have a look on my website or on my Instagram if you would like to know more about my work and the knives that I make. Uh, just Google Studio Blade and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and now also on YouTube. So uh, hit that like button and subscribe button uh, just to make me feel good about the countless hours I've spent making this first video. So uh, thank you, see you soon. Studio Blade, out.